What's up guys? Here we are back in the van. Basically, we're gonna run around the perimeter. So up here is our driving cabinet, pretty simple. You know how it is, water bottles and driving seats. Pretty simple, we have a little speaker because our stereo doesn't work. Other than that, it's just a captain seat. We have the bed set up currently. So it's a nice big bed. It's actually like it's longer than a king size, I feel like. Super long, almost seven feet long. Up here we have kind of my personal clothing drawer. I could show you the inside, but that might hurt your head a little bit. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> so just some clothing. I got a little bin for socks and underwear, and the rest is just shirts and a couple pairs of pants, nice and simple. Uh, down here. So we can open this up real quick. We don't go down here too often quite yet, but basically we have a little bit of winter stuff and Sam's uh, storage. I have an art kit here full of paint and, and pastels and stuff like that. And then we have a few plastic containers, which just has some, uh, we use like pencil cases and Ziplocs to organize uh, extra cords. A little bit of clothes for Sam for uh, winter and summer. That's kind of her storage area for the most part. A couple backpacks. Pretty simple. We don't go in there very often like we said. Underneath here is just the water tank that we fill up with a garden hose. I kind of did my own little plumbing job there because the one that uh, came with it um, was horrible. So it wasn't working at all. So I basically ripped that out, spent about 45 minutes in Home Depot rigging up my own little system here. So it works great. It cost me like eight or nine dollars. Uh, other than the hose itself and then we just run it out the window to a garden tap and you're good to go filling up Up here is kind of like our technology shelf. So it's mostly cameras. Uh, we got the drone We obviously have the cooking set up here. We throw a couple frying pans and pots in the oven just for extra storage Just keep it out of the other cupboards. Here's our motherboard tells us things like our battery power We turn on our water pump how much water we have in the tank and then our holding tanks this one actually doesn't work but we don't really need it we just look inside here we have food storage so we've got things like coffee and pears um, cereals a few spices pasta. pasta sauce pasta stuff like that up here nice and simple just a few cups and uh, bowls pretty simple a little bit of cooking uh, coconut oil spray there okay Here's kind of like our fresh fruit, fruit fruit, and food bin. So we got things like bread, tomatoes, uh, avocados, garlic, that kind of thing, chips. We have a, a third cutting board here that we use for certain things, or sometimes we just, again, want some more counter space. This is quite long, so we can just hang this out, put some more stuff on here for going crazy in the kitchen. Under here, we just kind of have, again, like a, not a junk drawer, but for breeze, pens, we got some Polaroids that we're gonna put up on a, in a up and coming video with some string. We're gonna hang up some Polaroids with some mini little uh, clothespins. Again, kind of another junkish drawer, but things we use all the time, lighter, extra keys. Um, I just bought some masks here because we're in smoky BC. So uh, I was kind of worried about that. We also have these these are like, uh, it's like a wax saran wrap, so it's reusable, you can wash it. It kind of feels waxy. <laughs> and eventually it'll, it will degrade, but instead of, you know, constantly throwing and paying for saran wrap and throwing it in the garbage, you can reuse these quite a few times. And we've only really used the one so far, so we got a couple more different sizes. Down below, we have, we keep the stove burners here while we're driving. Um, we keep one on the stove for things like coffee and stuff in the morning, but if we're going to cook, we just grab those at night. We have the blender. We have the instant pot right back there. Our little sticky cutting board, double-sided. It's kind of got the rubber ring around it so it doesn't slide around on you. And then some tin foils from the dollar store if we want to do some uh, more like roasting vegetables. And this is a fancy little thing that we found on Amazon. So you can get that uh, yeah, get that on Amazon. There'll be a, probably a link in the description. <laughs> and 
holds your plates and bowls right here and then the rest of your bigger stuff can dry out here and then it folds up quite nicely with this and in it goes it doesn't have to be perfect nothing's perfect down here we have the uh, water pump things like a kettle rice cooker some random palm olive soap stuff like that garbage bags uh, tin foil We've got a few of these uh, zeal powders, which is like a vitamin powder, a few more spices, some energy or uh, exercise powders, whatever you want to call them, and some balsamic vinegar. Uh, let's go back over to this side here. A nice little picture here that Sam put her heart and soul into, so that was great. Homemade. If you want to buy any of those, let us know. We'll start making yeah. it. Uh, okay, here is a really messy cabinet full of our riding gear, so shorts and tons of jerseys, helmets, glasses, gloves, it all goes in there. This is basically our garage, so I'm not going to show you underneath right now, but basically underneath there is mostly cleaning tools, a few different kinds of oils, stuff like that for chains, uh, cleaning the bikes, all that kind of stuff. Bike pump, we mount the tires that are free over there probably seen this rack in other videos holds the bikes nice and sturdy while we're driving it's been pretty much flawless since we figured out from the first day uh, so yeah it kind of becomes our garage right now a few things need to go back underneath but you know we didn't like go up go crazy and clean the whole van just to make a video because this is real life okay we also have some stringer lights which I guess I can show real quick Sam installed these, which are pretty sweet, so I'll drop that. So we got those. Shut that off, it's noisy. Anyway, so we got some stringer lights. We got quite a few more we're gonna do up in the loft, and we're also probably gonna build some constellations of our own on the ceiling we thought was pretty cool. And then we'll just mount the battery pack probably inside one of these cupboards, so it's kind of hidden, and then we can open up, turn it on, and we'll have stars at nighttime. And we also wanna get some of those glow-in-the-dark sticker lights uh sticker stars and moons from when you're a kid planets and all that um okay back over here we just have some more sam's personal clothing stuff like that like I said garage area here it's kind of a random drawer but for me it's mostly cologne deodorant we have a little jasper park guide here that came with the van uh like i said we also hooked the tires to here so they kind of stay nice and sturdy so we'll open up the fridge here have a look Dun dun dun. Okay, like I said, real life. I got a little bit of onion skin in there, no big deal. We just started a veggie prep program. So instead of washing a cutting board every single meal, we just bought a bunch of groceries, chopped it all up. It also makes things a little smaller so they can fit easier in the fridge because they're prepped now. Um, other than that, we just got some, you know, random food. You know how it is. Some pops, some drinks. We also got, got some dairy-free ice cream. Some all really good, by the way, Ben and Jerry's. So that's our fridge. We won't let all the cold air out. Cutlery drawer. Here we had a little magnet because it was missing a door handle when we when we first got here. So we keep our extra shoes, uh, detergent, toilet paper. Toiletries. Yeah, toiletries exactly underneath there. We added this mirror here with PL. Am I opening this? Yeah. <laughs> Sam's closet, organized as always. So everything of hers is in there. My closet, it's funny, I actually have more clothes than Sam currently. I'm still purging. So this is an awesome, awesome laundry. This is our laundry basket. Um, it's from a great friend named Mark Browning who passed away about two or three years ago now. Uh, but this was one of his shirts. He was a pretty big guy. So this is one thing they did for his uh, funeral Funeral was take all his big old dress shirts and turn them into laundry bags for everybody. So we're representing Mark Browning here. Other than that, we have another little plastic storage bin, just some extra towels and blankets. I have some more clothes of some, I don't even know what's in there. Probably more jerseys because I have way too many jerseys. And then I keep my pants up on top. On the back of the door here, I got my adventure hat, which I'll be using once it gets a little colder and rainier. I also have some more painting supplies in there. Okay, this is where we keep all the 
more hyg you know hygienic stuff. So we got toothbrushes galore. We got like five toothbrushes. There's only two of us. We need to go through that and decide. I'll probably throw away my electric one now. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, we also have window stickers that I added. I'm starting to add a bunch of window stickers. I got the bike out back. And then Sam's planted a lovely little garden here. We're still uh, trying to figure out what we're going to do with this last one. Probably going to be cilantro. Just need to get down to business with that. Get it finished. Back up. We have this awesome bamboo shower curtain from the dollar store. Hooks from the dollar store. Uh, towel rack, super sturdy. So I replaced the shitty old crappy shower head with this one right here. It's leaking water. So that's a super water saver. You can press this button. It's actually nice because it's designed to save like 20% water when you press this button. Um, but what we found it does because we only have a certain size pump in here, it only has so much pressure. When we push that button, it goes to just like super low flow. So instead of uh, shutting the taps off and like soaping up or doing your hair, you know, shampooing your hair and stuff like that, and then turning the taps back on, trying to figure out the temperature all the time. When we press that button, it goes to such a low flow that it's such a small amount of water while you just quickly, you know, shampoo your hair or soap up your body or whatever. Um, and then you just hit the button again and you're good to go for rinsing. So that's pretty sweet. Here we just have more medical stuff basically. So we also have some storage bins on the outside of the van. We also have the car storage on top, which you guys may have seen again in another video. Um, but basically it's one of those roof rack car storage deals where we hold things like uh, more tools, tires, and camping chairs. And then we have a solar panel as well. Other than that, the roof is pretty empty and things are looking good. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour. I'm going to stop talking now because you probably haven't made it this far anyway. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Let us know if you have any questions down below. Hit the subscribe button, like, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog.